Hi guys, so welcome to Cook Avec Dan and this week we're gonna do a beef tartare. This is my favorite. So first, you need to choose what cut of beef you're gonna use. So today we have a filet mignon, which is the most tender and least fat of all the cut you can use. So one thing, you need zero fat because this is raw and you don't want to chew on fat, on raw fat because it's disgusting and it's very chewy. So you just want to have a lean piece of beef for that. So if you don't use filet mignon or tendor lean, that's why I say filet mignon, um, you can use eye of round, top sirloin, top of round. So you want to cut this in dice. I prefer to cut it by end so you can have like those square dice and you can chew on it. Some people will uh, grind it with uh, a meat grinder. Personally, I don't like the texture of uh, grinded tartare. If you like it, go ahead, it's your, uh, it's your uh, meal. So uh, let's cut this piece of meal. Piece of meat. Piece of meat. So uh, let's cut this piece of meat. Uh, also, if you have the full filet mignon uh, with the tail and the, the head, and the Chateaubriand. I will uh, suggest you to uh, keep the Chateaubriand for uh, steak on the barbecue because this is a nice old piece and use the, 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 the tail and the, and the head for your tartare. So for this, you really want to have a sharp knife. You need to have clean knives, tools, clean surface, clean is the way to go. And for uh, the quantities, for a starter, I will suggest you use uh, 100 grams. And if it's a whole meal, we'll use around 200 grams per serving. Okay, so everything is uh, chopped and diced right now. We will use a uh, good olive oil to protect the protein. Yep. We mix the oil and the beef. Vegan? Yeah, this is vegan. So we keep this cold in the fridge while we are chopping all the other ingredients. We're gonna use some caper. I like to chop them in, in half. All the flavor of uh, the caper will, uh, will be released. We will use some black olives. Use half of this pickle. and some dry tomatoes. I will add some uh, pine nuts in this. This will add the luxury, uh, luxurious taste in it. Okay. 
And this is Permigiano Reggiano. Now we need some fresh herb to add the flavor in the, the tartare. So we'll start with the chives. You need to chop this real fine. And of course, fresh basil. So this was in the fridge. We cut we cut all our uh, ingredient here. So what we want is to add salt and fresh ground pepper and just to put the yolk in the tartare one and two yolk here you go we put all our ingredient in this it smells so good right now and nothing is mixed let's mix this wow look at the color mm. smell wow with this tartare and a lot of uh, tartare uh, i made once everything is mixed, you need to let it rest around an hour in the fridge uh, because all the ingredients will mix together and all the taste of everything will pop. Instead of making croutons, we want to make something uh, with a little twist. We want to uh, dry them of their own juice as much as we can and then we take a uh, fry mixture so this is a uh, tempura We have our nice fried pickle here. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. It's still warm. I'm gonna put some cream cheese. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> it's incredible. Mm. I think I'm crying. Awesome. Let's serve this. There's a lot of way to present that. We will we'll go very simple.
voilà. My tartare de boeuf. So you have the choice of the fried pickle with uh, cream cheese and some crouton. Or you can just uh, do it like a small bites uh, for a, a starter. For this uh, beef tartare, uh, I chose to uh, pair it with uh, an amber beer. So uh, let's try this. I can smell some uh, butterscotch. Yeah, you can taste a, a, a bit of uh, bitterness in this. So let's try it to see if it match. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, pretty good, uh, pretty good match. Alright, so uh, now let's try the wine. Because of uh, the olives we add and um, the meat and there's a lot of uh, Mediterranean taste in it. So this wine is, uh, is from France, but in the Mediterranean uh, coast. It will bring those uh, taste in it. Hmm. This is good. I can smell uh, like the animal. You have some notes. Black pepper. And yeah, I have some little notes of uh, olives, which we have there. Let's try this. Mm. Very good, just like that. Yeah, very good pairing. Those two work together and this is not very expensive maybe $25 so uh, if you can get this go ahead it's a perfect match with this so cheers <laughs>